everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. Today is part two of my decluttering mini series that I'm doing. I am moving in February with my husband. We're moving up to Washington and we are just in the process of decluttering and downsizing our home for that move. Now I've talked about it in the first part of this video, but I am not doing the physical packing of the boxes, but I do want to downsize and I need to figure out which puzzles I'm bringing with me to temporary housing. So we'll be living away from our about 95% of our stuff for a few months while we purchase a new place. So I am going to find puzzles in here that I'll bring for that transition, but I'm only really allowed to bring one box of puzzles, which is going to be super hard, but luckily there is thrift stores and other stores that I can discover in my new location. Today we are going through my puzzles. I'm trying to get rid of things that I just don't see myself doing again or just doing in general. I may get rid of some things that I just don't see a need for in my collection. Maybe I loved hauling it and loved buying it and had good hopes to do them, but in reality I can't do all the puzzles that are in my collection and much rather hand them off to other homes with people who will actually do them. So we are going to do my puzzle shelves today. I have already done the puzzle closet that's in my hallway. I'll leave that video down below. And then the next installment will be the closet that is in this room that has puzzles in there as well. But we are going to go through this together. I'm going to be somewhat cutthroat, try to be pretty thorough. If there's any videos that are in relation to any of these puzzles, I'll leave those down below. Ooh, before we get into it though, it is a December video, which means I do have a giveaway. So this giveaway today is the Jacaroo puzzle. Here it is. It's super pretty and bright like all of their puzzles are. This one is called Niwa and it's just like so bright and colorful. So this will be the one given away. Make sure to do all the things down in the description box and give them some love on their socials. Super small Canadian company and I've been loving their stuff this year. So let's just go into these shells. I don't know, yeah, yeah you can see up top. Now I won't do close ups of every single one of these puzzles cause that would be extremely difficult on the editing side of things. So I'm just gonna show you them and then talk about them. If you have questions on any of them, feel free to leave me a comment and I will gladly answer. But we are first going into these guys. So I have been a subscriber to Anthology Puzzles. It's just a wooden puzzle subscription. I have a lot of them from this year, but I don't need to keep all of these boxes because there's just too many. I just don't see myself redoing them. So let's see which ones I will keep. We first off have this one, which is Ugly Christmas Sweaters. One of my favorites of theirs. Um, does this one have the cover? Yeah, here we go. So we can see the image, super cute. Love this one as a Christmas item. And I feel like I'll just like pack this away with my Christmas stuff. We have this one here, which is called Around the World, which is a fun one. They used to have it on stickers so you could put them on the boxes. So that's what it looks like. Um, they now come in tins like this one. It's no longer in the boxes. Um, but this one, I don't see me redoing so that one can go. I really enjoyed this one which is called Kite Flights. I don't know if I'll actually redo it though. This one was fun. See, Kite Flights. It was pretty easy. Um, I mean, it was only 150 pieces. Okay, let me just, I'll keep like three of them. Let's do that. I'll keep three, the rest I'll give away. So we also have Fancy Fruits, which is a fun one. This one I don't see me redoing. This one I can part ways with, but it was a fun one and I like the bright colors. We have this one. Let me see, this one doesn't have anything on the side, so. Oh, it's the Amusement Park one. It was fun. Again, I don't see myself redoing it. So I'll give that one a new home. And we have this one, which is, I don't know if I've done this one, <laughs> which is cute. It's like all these like retro styles. I don't know what it's called, but it's down on the bottom. Um, I'll keep this one and I'll keep the Christmas one and I'll keep the kite one, but the other three I'll part ways with. A lot of the ones up here are ones I have not done yet. So we have the Dragon Valley puzzle by Enwood Games, which is so fun to look at. Love the colors and would love to do that one. Ooh, 
I'm gonna put this one aside. This one I could see myself doing earlier next year. So that one might come with me in our travels. I'll put that pile here, I guess. Um, we have some bluebird puzzles. I have three of them. This one is really pretty. It is, here we go. Hopefully you can see it, okay. Um, love the colors. Kind of gives me like paint by numbers vibes. This one I don't want to get rid of, but let's see. We have this one. This one's gonna fall. This one has very similar feels. Love the colors of this one here as well. And then I have this really fun um, Zodiac one, which is cool too. So I'll keep all three of these. I would love to do a video on them in the future. It is a French brand. We also have these ones, which are their sister company. This is Graphico. Um, so super fun. Again, I will plan on doing these. Oh, we have this one, which is Day at the Festival by Braintree Games. I did do a video on this one. I'll leave it down below. It also had the movie one, which I did part ways with just because I wasn't doing it, but this one I don't see me redoing so it can find a new home. Super fun though. I remember really enjoying it. It's also a like a game as well because it's all like puns. It's cute. Watch the video if you want to learn more about it. I have my micro puzzles here. Do I need all of them? They're all the Christmas ones. We have an ugly Christmas sweater one. We have one that I enjoy. It's like a old car with a bunch of presents on top. And then we have this dog one. The dog one can go, but the other two I will keep. I do like micro puzzles for like going, bringing to work, bringing on a trip, that type of thing. We have this one, which I have not done yet. I will keep it. We have the stand out puzzle, which I really did enjoy, but I hate puzzles in tubes. So this one is going to find a new home. We have some art and fables here. I think I am going to part ways with the one that I did. I just don't see me redoing this one, and this is something that someone would love to do. It's called Window Nook, and I have a video on this one too. It's super fun and bright and colorful. I remember having some fit issues, which I've noticed with the thousand piece puzzles of theirs. Not so much on the 500 pieces, but I just don't see me redoing it. So it's just hanging out in my collection for no reason. We have another art and fable, which I'll keep. And there's actually this one, which is one of my favorite puzzles of all time. And I don't know why, but it is just such a fun one. It's there, east of the sun, west of the moon. I have done this puzzle probably about four or five times at this point. It's one that I've really enjoyed. It's super quick and easy. Love the texture, love the words, love that there's like two sides to it. It's fun and I will keep that one. Down here, I believe I'm keeping all of these. We have a Casterland one, which is a llama, which I'll do this season. This actually I might put in, I've been creating a pile for a 12 hour puzzle challenge or just ones I wanna do this season. So I'm gonna put that in this pile so that way I can do it before we move and that's my plan. I'll do it and then pass it along afterwards. These two Wentworth ones I will keep. I have a whole video on those, so I'll leave that down below. Down here we have a bunch of Eboo, which most of them are from Tuesday morning. Oh, some of them are from Tuesday morning. A couple are from Swaps. Eboo is not my favorite puzzle brand. They have beautiful images and they're super bright, but I'm not a huge fan of the quality of their stuff. But if it's on sale or if it's something I can swap with, then I don't mind too much. So I think I'm gonna keep all of them except for this one. This one is the Tree of Life. It's just an image, not a huge fan of it. I did get it as a gift from Dave, but it's just it's so crazy. It's so crazy. I can see it being doable if we did like the 20 piece method where you're just pulling out like 20 pieces, putting it in its relative space, but I've had it for like two years now. Don't have an itch to do it and I have plenty more from the brand to do instead. I think I'll do the rest that are on viewable sides and then I'll point you down to show you the things that are on the floor. I'm gonna part ways with this guy here. This is by, oh, who's it by? Springbok. And I love their 2D puzzles. Their 3D puzzles definitely lacking in the quality department. This shelf was just kind of like a stand-in. <laughs> 
So we have an advent calendar that I'm working on. I also have two from our giveaway videos earlier this season. So leave that there. This is an advent calendar that I'm going to be working on. And then over here, let's work on this section. So I have two of the same exact puzzle. One is one that I bought and one I got at a swap. So I'm going to keep the one that I got at a swap because it has all the pieces. The one that I bought was actually missing a piece. But I'm going to keep the box that I got and switch out the pieces. So that's what's happening. One will go and one will stay. And that will work. We have the Guinness puzzle, which was fun. I just don't see me redoing it. So this one can go. We have, let's see. Oh, this is the Iceland puzzle. It's super fun and it's fun to have like a puzzle from Iceland. I just don't see me doing it so that way we can find a new home. We have a Nova puzzle that I definitely want to do and I want to do somewhat soon. So this is going to go in my pile to bring with us. So this one I will bring. So we have a Japanese brand which I'll do eventually but don't bring with us. We have two from Anatolian and I will keep them. I would love to do them in the future. I have the... French puzzle that I got, which is green means, so that's what it translates to. Super cute image, I love the colors. Uh, it is, how many pieces? A thousand. I kind of want to bring it with me. I'm going to put it in that pile for now. And then we have this one from Truffle, which I don't plan on keeping, but I am going to use for a video. No, I don't need to keep it. I have the other one and I have a video about this already. So this one can go. All right, moving on down. We have this shelf, which I think I'm keeping everything. So we have this Jacquaru puzzle here, which I loved. I loved. It's one of my favorites of the year. Um, definitely keeping because I don't know if I'd redo it, but would consider it. So I'm going to keep it for now. We have my BW bus from Ravensburger, and then we have all of my Magnolia puzzles, which I do plan on doing and have been really loving that brand, so I will keep. Here we have an advent calendar I will keep. We have this balloon ride one, which was fun by New York Puzzle Company. I don't need to keep it, but I am going to use it for a video I'm doing soon. So I'll keep it in its own separate pile, but I don't need to keep it for future use. I will keep the other one though that I haven't done yet. It's called the Peppermint Family, which is super cute. And then I think now I need to point you downwards so we can do some things on the lower level. How many am I getting rid of already? 14? Not too bad, not too bad. Let's point you down. We are now on the floor and let's go through this pile behind me. We have the 12 Days of Katniss. I don't need to keep it. Not my favorite advent calendar and don't see me redoing. We have an antelope one that I want to do soon. And we'll do this season. So that's going to go in the going to do pile. We have this one, which is fun. I just don't see me redoing because I have so many other 2,000 piece puzzles I would much rather do. So this is Buffalo's Delicious Desserts, which I thrifted. I just don't see me doing it. So this one can go and find a new home behind me we have another i do like this one i will keep this one this one's fun it's called moon cycle it's 1500 pieces it's like mostly gradient puzzle but then we have down here which is like camping scene and i do enjoy that image so i will keep and then final two on the shelf we have the san diego zoo one i don't need to keep that one and then we have my Australian brand, which is the one but many, and I will keep that one for a future video. Moving over here, we have, ooh, a tough shelf, a tough shelf. Okay, so I have these guys, which are by Rifle Paper Company, and they're really pretty, and they're only 500 pieces, and I love the boxes for decor purposes, but... I don't see me redoing them. They were perfectly fine puzzles, but they've just kind of just been hanging out in the background, you know, kind of just like a shelf filler. And again, they're cute boxes. I just don't see me doing them. So I'd much rather give them a new home. I think that's what I'll do. So we have the maps puzzle, which is super cute. 
we have garden party, and then we have Camelot puzzles. So I think I can get rid of them. I just don't want to keep them, you know, and have them just be decor. So I'm going to part ways with them. We have a few Christmas puzzles that I think I will keep all of them. Here's my thing, though. I don't think I would redo them because I would just like to buy new Christmas puzzles each year than redo the same ones each year. Or I also realized I like the advent calendars and they often take up more time than I can have to do new puzzles. So I haven't done this one by Springbok yet, but I have done these ones before. And I just don't see me redoing them. They're cute. We have the Cobble Hill one, which is called Santa's Little Helper. And then we have this one, which is just as happy. Um, it's called Song for the Season, and it's like these snowmen singing Christmas carols. I just don't see me redoing them, so I don't think I need to keep them. Down here, we have some larger piece counts that I definitely want to do next year once we have our new place. Um, so we have a thousand piece one from Ravensburger, which I got at a swap. We have three 2,000 piece ones, which I originally had planned to do, but then I realized I just didn't have the space to do them. So I am going to wait until we have our new place because one of the criteria is to have a bigger puzzle room so that way I can do larger piece counts, but also a puzzle room that I can be shut off from the cats so I can do larger piece counts. So that is my plan with that. I also have my 6,000 piece one here, which I plan to do next year as well. And then we have these two shells, which I think may be difficult to show you, but let's just go over there. We have this one, which I will keep, I just bought. It's called Breakfast in Bed by New York Puzzle Company. It's by Janet Hill, which is the same one as our advent calendar. We have the 1930s puzzle, which I love. And I do want to frame once we get there. Um, so we'll just keep that one aside. We have this one, which is a Christmas puzzle I have not done. I don't think I'll be able to fit it in the season, but it's fun. It's the one where it's like the image is different than the image you see. And it's a cool concept. I just don't have time this season to do it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, this one I've done. And I loved it. And I loved it so much, I would much prefer it in a bigger piece count. This one's only 500 pieces. It also comes in a thousand piece count. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's by Cloudberries. And I think I might buy the, the bigger one in the future. So that's my plan with that guy. Loved it so much. Like, I loved it. But again, I'd much rather have the full size one than that one. We have uh, this guy. This is by Soonest. It's one of her PNP puzzles, and I am so curious to do this one. Do I want to bring it with me? Kind of, just so I know it doesn't get damaged in the move. So I think I will keep that one in that pile. And then we have this one, which I will keep. I did get this one from a subscriber. It's called Flight of Fancy, and I just, I love the colors of this one. So that one can stay, and I'll do it in the future. This thousand piece pomegranate, I just don't see me doing it now, but I do want to keep it. We have a thousand piece from Gallison, which is really fun and bright and like almost like a gradient rainbow, but it's galaxy and it has foil. It's fun. I definitely want to keep it and do it in the future. I'm like looking at any of these. All of these are pretty new, so I don't know if I'm getting rid of any of them. Mm, no, I don't think I am. But is there anything that I want to keep and bring with me? Let's see. We have the Love Stamps from White Mountain. Super cute. Would love to do in the future. We have oh, this one. I might put in my might bring with me pile because I really want to try Better Co. And this one is super fun. It's called Feeling Groovy. And it's like this music room. I think I will bring that with me. We have a... Another one called Be Groovy, and this one is a fun 500 piece. I might put this one in my puzzles to do by the end of the year pile. We have a thousand piece one from Gallison, which is houseplants, super fun and bright. This one I think I can say goodbye to because I have a couple other 300 piece 
Ravensburgers that I like to just keep on days that I want to do a puzzle but not necessarily like a big two or three or eight hours type of situation. This one I've already done. It's called Portal Into a New World and I liked it. It was fun. I just don't see me redoing it so I can find a new home. We have this cool thing. Um, I do want to do a video about it next year but I don't think I'll be able to do it in the beginning of the year although it's one of the few that are 500 pieces. I might put it in that pile. So this is one where it's like three different colors and you have to use different colored glasses to see the image. So it's a cool idea and I'll keep that one aside. We have the heart puzzle, which is <laughs> wine. It's super fun. And then we have one that's a cobble hill, which I can't reach, but it's back there. I will keep it, which I just got recently. All right, so I'm getting rid of 25 puzzles. I'll show you that clip so you can see the amount that I'm getting rid of this time around. It feels so good to part ways with. Most of these I have done. There's only a couple that I haven't done, but that's okay. I would much rather focus on puzzles that I truly am excited for. And then I do have my handful of puzzles right here that I have in my potentials to bring with me for our move. So we have the Enwood Games one, which is super fun and bright. We have the 500 piece cool 3D multicolored type puzzle. We have the Better Co. I have the new Soonness. And then I have a couple for my Around the World series, like my French puzzle. And then this brand is from Turkey. So I'm excited for all of those. Like I want to have that same excitement with all the puzzles in my collection. So I'm excited to part ways with ones that I just don't see me doing. Um, I still have a few puzzles over here, of puzzles that I will do this season, but then hand off to other people. Um, but that's it for me. I am excited for this series and to get rid of some things. And I'm so excited for our move. Uh, stay tuned for part three, which is going to be the closet, which I have a feeling there's going to be quite a few that I get rid of from there because a lot of those ones I have either done or forgotten about or just don't have the same urge to do. So that may be a very exciting video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for being here. If you missed part one, I'll leave it down below and also make sure to enter the giveaway. So that's it for me. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.